Hello, this is Naeem Asam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Here are a few things that I'm watching in the markets today. Let's begin with market reaction from the S&P 500 index. We saw the S&P 500 index coming and then touching that critical level of 50 day moving average. The price came and it touched and now we're seeing the bounce. Remember, the 50 day moving average very much defines the bull and bear territory for active traders. Price stays above, we are in a bull territory. Price drops below that level. Now, all of a sudden, we are in a bear territory. For now, for the S&P 500 index, the confirmation arrived yesterday because the price started to move to the upside. Secondly, I'm looking at gold price action, the precious metal. On the daily chart, yes, there is an enormous amount of a retracement happening. But the devil is always in detail, and that is why I always focus on ETFs. Why? This gives me that insight that I'm looking for, whether institutional investors are pouring money or whether they're taking funds out. But what I see is that money inflow is sitting at a record level, something we haven't seen in the market in a long time, perhaps it is unprecedented. To finish off, it's a Tesla stock which is really exciting me. The price surged nearly 20% yesterday. Yes, the five day, five weeks gain for this particular stock sits at 80%, eight zero. Five weeks, Gain for Tesla sits at 80%. Why? Because we have seen enormous amount of uh, news on Tesla. Really great earnings. Secondly, we've seen the Wall Street analysts revising their estimates to the upside. Thirdly, production moved to China. Now we can see that all those concerns fading away with respect to the models, Model 3 deliveries, because everything is again, once again wrenching up to the upside. That makes Tesla a very attractive stock. Nonetheless, there is always a concern if the momentum can continue because of the coronavirus. That is a major concern if the production numbers can really be matched with what the expectations are for the Q2. But the momentum is there. The CDS credit default swaps started to drop to a level which we haven't seen in a very long time. Third, the, the yearly gain for Tesla stands at 3,173%. This is not a crypto market I'm talking about. I'm talking about our traditional stock market. This is all for today. Speak to you guys tomorrow. Happy trading.